ride and ride and then we're riding, baby. Screech, say that we so crazy. I don't care, don't you ever try playing me. I ain't tight, no tits, lights. I bring it on my worst nights. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another edition of Clickbait Media. I'm your host, Rob Caesar, baby. If this is your first time here, please be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe button along with that notification bell. So whenever I do post, you will know that I am here. All right, in this episode, we have this 59-year-old lady by the name of Joanne Mercator who thought it was okay to throw a bucket of feces on her landlord. Yeah, you heard right. She threw feces on the landlord. Not no dog feces, not no animal, human feces, a bucket of it. So I'm going to get into this story, this news clip, and I also got the police footage. And then I'm going to play both of those, and uh, I'm going to give you my commentary on what I think about Miss uh, Joanne Mercedes. This Florida woman is accused of throwing human feces at her landlord. According to the Volusia County Sheriff's Office, 59-year-old Joanne Mercator first told deputies the landlord assaulted her with excrement. She eventually admitted she went to throw a bucket of water on her landlord but got confused and accidentally threw the bucket of feces. She's now charged with battery on a person over the age of 65. Katie Johnston for CBSMiami.com. There's both of them covered in crap. So I'm not sure what the hell's going on, but... But you, you understand this has been going on? I don't know anything. All I know is you're covered in feces, she's covered in feces. Need you to pretend that I don't know what's going on here. All right, it's not going to get me. So how did all of this happen? Rub this in my face. This is... I know what it... I know, but she's because she's covered in it. Can I ask you something? And... Again, this is just me being me. She's covered in liquid, basically, feces. Because I was running. Yours is dried on your face. Because she took the poop and rubbed it all over. And then she she dried it on your face? What? No, Peter said you you want to arrest me. I'm not sure what's going on. All I know is... In a long time that I've been doing this job, I've never seen anything like it, okay? I'm not disputing what you're telling me, all right? But how did she get it on her? Huh? How did she get it on her? She's dripping with it. It's soaking wet. Hers is not. She would be sopping wet. So, you know what I mean? But that's not me. That's not... There is poop everywhere. What kind of poop? Human poop. Uh, uh, okay. People poop over all over where? The feces that mm-hmm. she says was just smeared on her face is dry. Okay. So looking at the feces that is all over the trailer that was allegedly <laughs> the scuffle is not dry. And it is spread just as thin as on her face. Okay. We're kind of at the, the crossroads of... The lady that lives in the trailer story doesn't really add up, nor can she account for how the other lady got covered in feces. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so we have, so, okay. So tell me how, you, you said it. How, tell them it's a really crappy situation. No. Okay. All right. Yeah, do the right thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll do everything we can. All right, cool. Good job. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow, Sergeant. Bye. All right, the deputy knew that Miss McKay's story wasn't adding up because the landlord told the deputy she was met with the bucket of feces in her face when she opened the door Saturday after no one answered. She said she had prearranged to visit with McKay at her homes to look at several broken items. 
I, I would like to say this, uh, Miss McCater, you are a nasty individual and you deserve to go to jail. Uh, who the hell shits in the bucket and throws it on somebody? Cause that's obviously what you did. And if you had broken items in your house, there's plenty of other ways to handle that. And you have to throw shit in. How in the fuck did you get shit rubbed in your face? Come on, let's plain and simple. If you would met her with a bucket, that means you already, you try to rub shit in your face so you can lie to the police. But they caught on to it. You had dry shit on your face. And the other one had wet shit. So I can only assume maybe you had a broken toilet. So you had been shitting in a bucket. So you probably had more than one bucket. One had the dry shit. The other one had the wet shit. What you threw on her. And you rubbed a dry in your face. But there was a better way to handle that situation if that was the case. Because she was kind of arranged to look at broken items. That were in your house. You could have withheld your payment until they got fixed. But uh, what you did just landed you in jail. And I think you deserve it. But like the officer said. It was a real crappy situation. Because they didn't know what the hell to do. Man when he was talking to his supervisor. He was like uh, um yeah. Supervisor all over here like. There's human poop where everywhere. <laughs> He was glad he wasn't on that damn scene. Man. He hit him with that Spike Lee line. Yeah, just uh, just do the right thing. <laughs> Man, I just know whoever took her downtown, boy. They hated to take her ass downtown, boy. Yeah. And that'll pretty much do it for me. I'm your host, Rob Caesar, baby. This is Clickbait Media. Please be sure to hit that like, share. And subscribe button along with that notification bell. And I'm up out of here. Peace. It's a ride and ride and then we're riding, baby. Squeak, say that we so crazy. I don't care, don't tell, I'm a trap, baby. I ain't tight, no tits, blights. I bring it on my worst nights.